What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Idalia that is currently affecting the Carolinas right now as we speak. We have Franklin over here that is currently weakening as time continues to go on. We have the remnants of Tropical Storm Gert over here, and we have Tropical Depression meandering pretty much in the, uh, pretty much in the Central Atlantic. It's not expected to strengthen or anything like that. It's like just going to stay out there in a pretty decently sheared environment. So we'll have to continue to monitor that, but it's, I don't expect it to be a major threat. I'm mainly focusing on Franklin and I, especially Idalia, but there is <clears throat> looking like an increasing chance of more <clears throat> tropical development going on in the main development region. Let me explain what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so here are some of the models we have pulled up. We have the European, we have the European 12Z run. The latest earlier today, we were talking about some potential tropical development going on in the MDR or the Caribbean Sea. Well, the latest runs came in, and these values that they're going for are absolutely shocking, especially with the European right here. So the European has this um, this tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa in the next two days or so. In fact, we can go ahead and pull that up right here. This is that tropical wave that's coming off in the next couple of days, just to give you some context. Already looks like a very mean-looking tropical wave that is currently over Mali right now. It's going to take another 20, uh, 36 to 48 hours before it gets uh, onto the Atlantic Ocean. And from there, it's expected to rapidly organize and rapidly intensify. So here's where we're at at about four days out. This thing already looks incredibly healthy coming off the coast of Africa and starting to organize and de uh, develop starting in about five days or so so i would not i would not be surprised if they issue tag an area of interest in for this area in the next day or so so we'll have to monitor it as time continues to go on but already we're at four six days out we're looking at a potential tropical storm as this thing really rapidly organizes and rapidly potentially rapidly intensifies and according to the european it does just that because by 180 hours out we're out down to a 998 millibar tropical storm but then, by about uh, 24 hours later, we're down to a 989 hurricane, and then here we go. Uh, here we go. These, this continues to organize and intensify at a very alarming rate. Gets down to a 960 millibar system by the time it approaches the Lesser Antilles about 10 days out on September 9th. So we'll have to pay attention to that as time continues to go on. Keep in mind that's just one model run of the European, and we'll show you some others just to kind of under uh, show you what the aggregates looking like. So here's the CMC model for the 12Z. CMC has this thing coming off equally as fast or as organizing. However, it does mainly stay more towards the north and does strengthen down uh, up to a Category 1 hurricane at some point. However, my main uh, issue with this kind of current uh, loop is, is that, first of all, it's in indicating that the Bermuda High is just going to completely be pushed as far east as Morocco, which that sounds pretty outlandish over there if you ask me. So I don't I don't like how far north the CMC has this going. So that's the big issue, but it has it as around a category one hurricane in the main development region in the Atlantic Basin. If we go ahead and show you some other runs, here's the Nav Gem. This th uh, the Nav Gem. This thing comes off the coast of Africa. It d does ha take some time to organize and develop, so we'll have to wait and see as we continue to get uh, more uh, more runs. So, yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to monitor it. We'll go ahead and show you the Icon as well. We'll go ahead and show you the 12Z Icon. 12Z Icon takes a lot of really fast time to organize and develop. Gets down to a tropical storm. It does have it pushing a little bit more to the north. Like uh, similar to that of the CMC, but we'll have to wait and see what's going to be going on with that. So those are the runs right here. We're going to go ahead and show you what's working for and against this potential development. We were talking about this earlier. What's working for it? Easily the global sea temperatures. And anywhere it goes at this point, it's going to be in 28 to 29 plus degrees Celsius temperatures or 82 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you living in the United States. But all across the ocean, we have areas of 30 plus degrees Celsius from this part in the main development region all the way to the Caribbean and all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. So that is a very, very, very concerning situation right there. And if this thing takes advantage of the extremely warm waters, well, it's going to have no problem organizing and no problem rapidly intensifying. And also what's going to be working for it is the insane ocean heat content. Now, by the time it gets out into the main development region, 
it isn't expected to really get uh, really en- encounter a bunch of OHC around maybe tw- uh, maybe 50 at the max until it gets to uh, until it gets to about 45 degrees west but then by the time it does it enters into an area of easily 75 then 100 then 125 OHC until it enter until it gets to the Atlantic basin or it enters the Caribbean where it starts seeing even more OHC so this is something we absolutely have to monitor as time continues to go on with, especially with how much uh, how much gas this ocean has to, for, to fuel these systems, so that's another thing working f- uh, for it. Now, what show what the, what would normally work for it against it is the wind shear right here. However, looking at it right now, the wind shear, especially in the western half of the main development region, is very favorable for development. If we go ahead and show you the eastern Atlant- uh, Atlantic as well, just to give you some perspective, it there is a bit more wind shear over here right now. But based on some of the, sh- the shear forecast we're about to show you, it is forecast to weaken. And we'll show you that in just a, s- a second, but I want you guys to kind of understand what I'm looking at. So now we're going to go ahead and show you the shear forecast brought to you by the European model over here. So here's the uh, 250 to 8, uh, 200 to 850 millibar shear. I'd say over the ne- over the next 48 hours, the shear remains kind of right here. However, as the, soon as this tropical wave comes uh, off the coast of Africa, that shear does start to weaken a considerable amount right here. And by the time this thing starts to organize and fully develop, the shear around uh, the shear around it weakens considerably as the shear is mainly getting pushed up to the uh, to the north. Uh, by this area of interest over here that's currently in the Atlantic, Invest 94L, as a matter of fact. So that's what we have on that front. And by the time this starts to organize and uh, intensify right here, the shear appears to start strengthening. However, that's mainly just inflow and outflow by that point. If we go ahead and show you the relative humidity in a very deep moisture pocket, so it should not have really any issues organizing or strengthening for that matter. And then as we continue to move on right here, and this thing starts to rapidly intensify and rapidly organize. Wind shear weakens considerably. It's moving through great conditions for that such uh, such development, and that moisture pocket continues to uh, continues to work for it. As there may be a, I will say there may be a bit of dry air according to this that may try to stop it from uh, strengthening further. But this system is expected to fight back, and according to the European, hold it off. So that's our big situation we have. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the ensemble runs because the ensemble runs have been also equally as shocking. Because if we go ahead and go out to about f- four days out, we start to see systems organizing and developing and strengthening, similar to that of the operational. And if we go ahead and pause about 198 hours out we're looking at from what i could count about 30 to 35 scenarios out of the 51 uh, ensembles the european has of, of of either tropical storm or weak hurricane strength right here i think about 30 of those are around hurricane strength so this is a very serious situation we have right here and this continues to organize and strengthen some of them get down to the 920s uh, pressure and they did earlier with the zero z runs as well so this is something we have to take very very seriously and especially if this thing ends up hitting the lesser Antilles or even the greater Antilles, it's going to be causing a lot of issues over there. So this is something I'm going to continue to monitor as time we as time continues to go on. We're closing the video out right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a, a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.